Hello there, Gemini. How's it going, you guys? It's been a while. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a good day. Just bumped into one of my... There's somebody that is subscribed to my channel that really wants me to do a reading for her. So I am going to do Gemini. And remember, Gemini, um, you know, I've been mainly doing Pisces, but uh, <clears throat> if you ever want, in the future, if you ever want me to do a reading, just leave me a little note. I don't mind one bit. Just, you know, when I only get like six views or something on for, for another sign, it's a little disheartening to do all these signs when I'm only getting like two or three years six views. What's going on with Pisces? I mean with uh, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini? Hmm. So we have uh, Menez here in reverse. Menez is talking about um, it's kind of like isolation. Okay. So maybe some of you guys are spending time alone. Uh, spending time alone thinking. It's kind of early to say, Gemini, because <clears throat> I gotta get all the wounds out. What else is going on here with Gemini? I just rest my hand here. There we go. Yeah, I really feel my fing fingers tingling now. Okay, so we have Jera. Okay, so Jera is balance. It's also success through hard work. Jerry is also some sort of a companionship. It can indicate marriage, but you know, this is just a general reading. So I'm thinking this is some sort of success. <clears throat> like I said, Gemini, I gotta get more runes out to really be able to tell. Come on, here, Gemini. Thoracicus. Okay, so this is really looking good, actually, uh, Gemini. Okay, so thoracicus here is, um, we usually like it in reverse. Uh, the reason why is because that's a thorn. So this is a really very tricky situation that you're in. However, with Jera, Jera is saying that whatever tricky situation that you're in, it's going to go away. All right? You're, you're going to have a breakthrough from whatever this tricky situation is. All right. So that's cool, right? <laughs> What's going on with Gemini? Pertho. Yeah. I like this now. This is starting to look good. Okay. Now, Pertho is sitting right here in in this slot. Okay. This is talk. This is kind of like, um, it's kind of like advising you. It's like spirit advising you uh, that things right now are not as they seem. Okay. So, Gemini. I know things look really tricky. See, look, you got thoracicus right here. It, you know, it sucks. But, you know, it's not as bad as you think. It, things are not, you don't see it yet. That's what it is. You don't see it yet. Things are not as they, as they seem. Things are, things are much better than they seem. And you're going to find this out because you have Jera right here. And this is like talking about... Um, you know, if you've been going through some sort of like a, a rough situation, some sort of, a, you know, tricky situation, that this is going to be resolved. <clears throat> I like that. And what's going on? What else is going on here with Gemini?
What's in the middle of the reed for Gemini? Ooh, Ingwaz. Well, that's that's awesome. Ingwaz is male energy, okay? It's very sexual energy as well. Um, and it's also Aquarius energy. But you know, generally speaking, in a general reading, Gemini, Ingwaz, I don't can't really tell yet because I haven't pulled the rest of the runes out, but Ingwaz is talking about something very procreative, okay? And the 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 inclination that I'm that I'm picking up is money. I'm picking up something that's going to create money. So maybe, you know, you're thinking what you're doing here is you're um you're kind of like with Menez here in reverse, you're kind of like contemplating and thinking things through and being kind of like to yourself. Um, because of the situation, whatever the situation is, it could be a, a couple of different things, all right? Uh, but like I said, things are not as they appear. It's, it's much better than you think. It's going to be resolved, whatever the situation is, and it's going to propel you forward very positively. All right? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> what else is going on with Gemini? So Nathis is um, Nathis is a rune uh, of lacking. Okay, because so maybe you could be lacking something right now. Like I said, I was thinking something money. You know, maybe you're lacking a little bit of money right now, there, Gemini. Nathis also talks about learning, but you know, for some reason or another, I'm thinking this is more like something else. I think it's more like you're lacking something, like money. Um, because that's what I said here when I pulled this off. <clears throat> Don't worry, things are going to work out. What's going on with Gemini? Rido. Well, now we like this right here. Rido. Rido is talking about your ride. It means wagon wheel. And it's talking about transportation or, or moving forward. Um, and it's not talking about getting there, getting to your destination. It's talking about enjoying the ride. And this could... Um, this could be uh, this can be spiritual as well. Sorry, Gemini. I kind of when I do these readings, I kind of zone out. I want to look at something here. <clears throat> yeah. So this is Gemini energy as well. That's what I thought. So you know, uh, Gemini, you could be dealing with another Gemini. All right. Yeah, I feel that you're dealing with another Gemini. And I also feel that uh, you're moving forward with this Gemini, or this Gemini is moving forward with you. Hmm. What else is going on with Gemini? So Uruz is uh, is a missed opportunity. It can also mean that you're really tired, but 
you know, maybe uh, this could indicate that maybe somebody feels that they missed an opportunity with you. It could be something like that as well. I'll know more when I pull some tarot out, but because I'm going to really concentrate on that. <clears throat> but um, Uru's it, in reverse is talking about um, some sort of a missed opportunity or or maybe somebody feels that they missed an opportunity or something with you. Or maybe you feel that you've missed an opportunity with them, but I feel that this is them. <clears throat> What's going on with Gemini? Well, if you're dealing with another Gemini, it's both of you. <laughs> What's going on with Gemini? Fehu. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so, yeah, it, it seems to me, uh, Gemini, that you know, you're having some money money problems, just like what I said here. Um, you're having some financial, uh, you know, you've got something here that's really bugging you about probably your money. All right. The good news is, though, is that um, you have Jera right here, and this is this is a breakthrough. So with this up, upcoming new year, Gemini, things are going to be better than you think, all right? It's not going to just kind of like drag on with not these as it has, as it has in, you know, in the recent past. It's going to move forward positively, all right? So let's... Uh, Let's pull a couple tarot cards here and see what's going on here with Urus and kind of curious as to <clears throat> as to why uh, Urus right here is in reverse. So what's going on with Urus in reverse? The High Priestess. Huh. So you know now the High Priestess uh, Gemini is uh, is Pisces energy and it's also uh, very, very intuitive. So I feel that you're, um, you're very, very uh, in tune to what's, you know, you're very intuitive. So, you know, like I said here, uh, Gemini, when you have uh, Pertho here, this is something unknown. This is something unknown. Things are not as they seem. And also, too, this could be telling me, too, with the High Priestess, that maybe um, you're keeping a secret hidden beneath the veil. This could be some sort of a, a secret that you are holding on to. Because huh. that makes sense when I see Pertho there with the, with the High Priestess. What else is going on here with Gemini? Why is there's something there about Urus? You know, um, with the High Priestess, maybe you saw something coming. Hmm. What's going on with Gemini? The Nine of Wands. Okay. So you know. Um, Gemini, the Nine of Wands indicates, be, so this is kind of good news, all right? Because, you know, Uru's, like I said, could be some sort of uh, missed opportunity, but also, like in a general reading, it can, it can uh, mean that you're exhausted. So maybe some of you are really tired, all right? The Nine of Wands here is somebody that... Uh, it, you know, well, you, you just continue on, okay? You got a lot of wands on your back there, that's for sure. A lot of responsibilities. Um, this is a little bit different than the typical Nine of Wands, as you can see. The typical Nine of Wands is, um, you know, the wounded warrior. He's got like a band-aid on, and, but he keeps going. And as you can see, he's still moving forward, you know, has 
uh, Lagoose right here. This is uh, Lagoose right there, all right? And Lagoose is, is using your intuition. Of course, you are. Look, you have the High Priestess right here. I mean, the High Priestess, you know, listens to her intuition because she's psychic. And so that's what you're doing right now, Gemini. You're, you're listening to your intuition. You're going with the flow. All right. And then right down here, you have uh, Soilo, which is the sun, but it's sideways. And, you know, um, it's like you can see something, but it's kind of like hard to make out. Okay. You can see something, but it's hard to make out. That's what I said. Maybe you already know something. Keeping something to yourself. Huh. Just keep going with the flow, Gemini. Everything's going to work out, guaranteed. With Jera right there, guaranteed. What's going on with Gemini? And the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. So, you know, this is something about your money for sure, uh, Gemini. You know, uh, in tarot, look at this. You have Soilo here sideways as well. Isn't that interesting? You got Soilo right here sideways. And then you have Soilo here sideways. So you can see something, you know something's up, you just really can't make it out yet because you got Perthal right there and it's kind of clouding your, your look there. So, you know, pentacles represent money and tarot, okay? And usually, you know, the six of pentacles is is, you know, somebody giving to someone, and this is a little bit different. This is actually quite a bit different. I want to look at this card and see what I can figure out here. Hmm. You know, it's like in the typical Six of Swords, he's, he's giving... Like, looks like he's giving equal give and take is what all the, all you want. You want equal give and take. And this particular six of uh, pentacles, he's like, you know, it looks like he's just, he's uh, getting his army ready to go to battle. <laughs> and they're getting all hyped up. And this guy here, he's just... He's kind of like on the sidelines, just, you know, getting his shield ready. I guess this must be his um, chief commander or something. It's quite, quite interesting. But, you know, just really feeling this card, I feel that that's all you really want, Gemini, is some equal give and take. All right? Things are going to work out. You're going to be able to see things really clearly here pretty soon in the new year. Look at this. Wow. So you see this here, uh, Gemini, at the bottom of the deck you have uh, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is, and this particular Ace of Wands is really uh, dynamic because you see that fire that you have to walk through? But this is bravery. And you know, when I was cutting the cards before I started, before I was shuffling the cards and cutting them before I did the reading, I got the strength card. So I'm thinking that, uh, you know, I'm thinking that you're really strong here, Gemini, and you've been through a lot, especially when I see the nine of wands down here. I mean, you've been through a lot. Uh, but you're you're going to be coming here into the new years into into the ace into the ace of wands, and this particular ace of wands is a little bit different. And as you can see here, you have thoracicus right there, 
which is right here. And thoracicus is a difficult situation. It's a, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a strong battle to get through this fire to get to this. But once you get to this, there's strength. See the strength right there? Uru's right there in the upright. Strength. And then right here is Fehu. And that's money. So, you know, I think you're going to have to just continue to be strong, uh, Gemini, and keep moving forward. Keep moving forward positively, all right? And, you know, things are not as bad as they seem. I know they, it seems like they suck, but there is something that you know that you could be keeping, you know, keeping from someone. Or you could be actually maybe even fooling yourself. Um, however, I don't, I don't feel that you're fooling yourself at all, really, because this is not in reverse. This is forward. So, you know, 90... 99% of the time when it's forward, it's really, really positive. So, um, yeah, it's really, really positive. But you're going to reach this Ace of Wands. Uh, you know, like I said, you're going to have the strength to do it. And there is something that you know. Maybe you just can't see it very clearly. And the reason why is because you have Soilo twice which is the sun but it's not upright it's sideways so you, you know you may be seeing things wrong all right maybe that's why you're spending time alone to, to think things through about this money situation that you've got going all right so you know i kind of feel that this is going to end in in 2024 things are going to look up you, you got the Ace of Wands right here with Fehu upright, not behind. What else is going on here with Gemini? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. What is this? Oh, okay. I don't know, but we're going to find out. <laughs> By the way, uh, Gemini... If you haven't seen these particular runes before, this is called the Awarm runes, okay? These are Irish and uh, Scottish. And they were very popular when Rome occupied their countries. And so uh, it's not only uh, runes, they're also, it's also a language. And every individual piece of twig in here, in this bag here, is a different, uh, different tree. So anyway, let's look up and see what this one is. Let's look it up and see what it means. All right. So the name of this uh, Gemini is called Or. All right. And this is a spindle tree. Okay. Or is the sudden insight that arises in a pearl of thunder and flash of lightning. This energy represents fate and destiny. Or can also represent the completion of a task. So, you know, um, with this uh, sudden insight that's coming your way, it's going to happen because you, you have the, the high priestess. That's quite interesting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool read, really. You know, and like I said, Gemini, I know things are really tough with your money right now because I see Fehu in reverse and you know, um, but don't worry, things are going to work out. What else is going on here with Gemini? First quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Honor your feelings. Let's get you one more. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. All right. Because things are moving forward for you right here. If you're not going to travel, things are moving forward. I don't really feel that. The, I feel that maybe this could be travel for some of you. But for most of you, it's forward movement. Yeah. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, unleash your kindest self. Unleash your kindest self. All right, Gemini. 
All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you do do that, uh, leave me a note and tell me, and I'll start doing Gemini's more often. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Talk to you later. Bye for now.